Hello and what's up guys, this is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are gonna learn about these text formatting. So uh, before starting this tutorial, many of you have messaged me regarding that how to link your external CSS file with the HTML file. So uh, let me show you how to work with the external CSS file and your internal CSS file. So you have to do nothing for linking the CSS external CSS file, come in the head section and type the word link and then press enter. All the whole code is automatically added on your screen and you have to do nothing. After that, as you can see over here, I have created a CSS file and which is saved in diff some different folder, but in the same dictionary, same directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press dot. So it will show the uh, my HTML file because my CSS file is in some different folder. So what I do, I press the dot again and then forward slash. So a list of folders will appear on my screen and now I have to choose one of the folders. So as I'm going to link my CSS file over here, so I'm going to choose the CSS folder in the file over here. And this way you can link your CSS file with your HTML file. I hope you guys understand it. So now we are going to work with the text formatting. As I have already made a video on text formatting in which we are using, uh, we are formatting the text using the bold and emphasizing it by using the PM tag, attack making it italic by using the i tag or making a, a making a uh, highlighting a text by using the your mark tag so this that's all we've done in the html and now we are going to do the same by using your css so let's just write text over here first so i'm going to choose the h1 tag over here uh, because it's easy to grab the element from the it to an step started uh, css so i'm gonna Type welcome to Speed Academy. Okay, so now let me show you the output and then we will start moving on the styling part. So, as you can see, I have only used the uh, H1 tag over here. Welcome to the Speed Academy and the text written in between them. So, what I'm do, I'm gonna style it the same as we done in the HTML first. Now, we're going to use with the CSS. So I'm going to grab my H1 element over here. I'm going to change the size to 50 pixels so it is quite visible to you. And I'm going to change this font weight. Either you can say it to font weight or font, sorry. I'm going to change it to font uh, style. A style you can give any of the style you want, like italic, oblique, or any. So if you want to give it italic, then I'm you can give it to palette and I'm going to change its color also I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to change the background to purple so the white text it is highlighted over it and it is very very quite visible to you so now what I could do is let me show you the output first after saving this I'll just just open it with the live server and you can see welcome to the speed academy is written over here and with this italic style so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna bold this text okay so for bolding this text um you have to come over here and just type font weight and either you can choose any of the font weight according to your either in the pixels or in numbers or in percentage as per your requirement i'm gonna set it to bold and now i'm gonna align my text to center and i'm gonna to okay let's just do this and then we'll add some other different properties of the text formatting and i can see over here now my text get bold and it is aligned in center of our web page so now what i'm going to do i'm gonna uh, transform it okay so i'm gonna transform it to uppercase Sorry, transform. Oh, this is it. I'm gonna transform it. So, as it is text, so I have to written the form property. I'm going to use the property text transform and I'm going to capitalize it. What capitalize does it capitalize? Will going to capitalize your first letter of your word. So, in the output, as you can see over here, only our first letter of the word get capitalized. Welcome T, speed, speed S, and Academy A. And now if I want to capitalize the whole text, then I'm going to change the text transform to uppercase. Similarly, if you want to 
change it to your uh, lowercase and you can just write over there lowercase and you can see over here welcome to speed academy is written over here and now i can i want to add some text shadow to it as i have discussed in previous video of backgrounds and shadows so i'm going to give it text shadow of two pixel of height and five pixel of length horizontally and five pixel blur and i'm gonna give it black so it is visible or uh, purple background and now you can see a text shadow is over here and it is looking quite visible and can go down so so I'm going to do if you want to give the letter spacing or word spacing so you can give from here so first of all I'm going to give it the letter spacing over here so letter spacing of any pixels I'm going to give it 15 pixels for example so now let me show you the output as you can see my every letter is separated by 15 pixels okay as you can see over here every word every letter is separated by 15 pixels similarly you can work with the your uh word spacing so what do you have to do you have to drop the raise the, your letter and just tap the word spacing over here and now the your words are separated by 15 pixels each as you can see my words are now separated by 15 pixels so that's all in this video guys i hope you like this tutorial and do subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos and do comment so i can so i can care to whether you are understanding my tutorials or not and that's all uh, take care guys bye